The man was playing League of Legends at home when his teammate suddenly said that something big had happened outside. He took off his headset and just walked to the living room when his phone received a disaster warning. Immediately after that there was an ear-piercing scream from outside. The man was puzzled and went up to take a look, only to see that people outside were fleeing frantically, out of control fire trucks rampaged. What the hell is going on? Just as the man froze, he suddenly saw a woman walking towards his daughter with a kitchen knife. The daughter, on the other hand, lunged at her mother in a frenzy. The man was dumbfounded by the scene, when another horrible scream came from outside the door. He cautiously looked through the cat's eye, but the hallway was empty again. Curious, he just opened a crack in the door when a man forced his way in. A neighbor from next door, he said his roommate had suddenly gone crazy and wanted to take shelter here. The man told him to hurry up and get out, but the neighbor said to go to the bathroom and leave. The man had no choice but to agree. At that time, the TV was broadcasting a news that the whole of Korea was infected with the zombie virus. Anyone who is bitten or scratched will be infected. He hurriedly grabbed a sharp knife to defend himself. The neighbor happened to walk out. The man threatened him to hurry out. The neighbor tried to explain that he was fine, but his eyes had obviously turned red and his body began to twist, turning into a zombie in just a few seconds. Then he lunged at the man. The man tried his best to push the zombie out of the door. He blocked the door with the refrigerator and prepared to call his family, but instead he received a text message from his parents. They said they couldn't go home for a while and told the man to stay alive. The man did not know how long he would have to hold on, but had to distribute all the only food he had first. Early the next morning, he used a drone to check the situation outside and found that the whole neighborhood had completely fallen. There were walkers on every floor and even in every house. During the night the man was awakened by the sound of a gunshot. He crawled over to take a look and it turned out to be a policewoman who was being mobbed by walkers. He watched as the policewoman was pounced on by the walkers and turned into their buffet. At that moment there was suddenly a violent banging on the door behind him. The man slowly approached with his cue. A zombie actually broke into the house. He rushed over to block the refrigerator with his body, but even with all his efforts, it did not help. The man suddenly had an idea and ran towards the balcony at the speed of light. He flipped over to the outside of the railing, seeing the zombie cry fiercely over. He dodged the attack. The zombie fell down. The man escaped, but the food in the refrigerator was ruined. To prevent himself from being exposed, he sealed up the window with a covering. The man now had to face more than just the walkers, with very little food left. He didn't know how long he could last. After 15 days of hardship, the man even had a hallucination. He saw his parents return home unharmed. When he came back to his senses, he lay on the floor and cried bitterly. A voice message gave him hope again. It was from his parents, but the signal in the house was so weak that the man had to risk sticking his phone outside. The phone finally got a faint signal. However it was the last words from his parents. They had met an untimely end. The man who was already desperate is now ashes. The motivation to live is gone. The man finally chose to commit suicide. However, the moment he kicked away the stool, a red laser beam suddenly shone on his face. Surprisingly, there are still living people. The man struggled desperately and tore the rope. Surprisingly, it was a beautiful girl. After a brief exchange, the girl told him to continue talking tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. Woke up to find it was 11 o'clock. Good thing the girl had been watching him. Seeing that the man was hungry, the girl wanted to bring him food. She struggled to throw it with a baseball tied to a rope. But due to too little strength, it was thrown to the awning. Fortunately, the man had a drone. He controlled the drone to deliver the rope to the girl without any problem. After building the ropes, the girl shared her rations with the man. Just as the man was eating, he suddenly realized that something was wrong. A fireman who had turned into a walker was holding the rope that had just been thrown on the ground. This zombie still retains the habits of his life. He pulled hard, tripping the girl to the ground, and she fainted. The walker pulled the rope and crawled towards the girl's house. The man tried to stop it, but the distance was simply too far to help. At this point, the drones came in handy again. The man kept interfering with the zombies. As a result, the drone was also destroyed by him accidentally. 
see the zombie is about to go over the balcony. The girl woke up at the critical moment. She knocked the zombie down. See the girl escaped a disaster. The man was finally relieved. But the food the girl gave him was running low. The man decided to take a risk and go out to get some supplies. Or he would be starved to death. He put on his equipment and carefully pushed open the door of the room. It was good that there were no zombies in the corridor. He found his neighbor's body and managed to get the key. He came to the house and found a corpse lying on the bed. He threw his shoes over to the other side without any reaction. Once he was sure it was safe he started looking for supplies in the house. He opened the refrigerator a pungent smell hit him. There was also a bottle of peanut butter and an unopened box of cookies in the refrigerator. The man also found that his neighbor was a hiker. He must have useful equipment. After a rummage, the man found two walkie-talkies. Just then, however, a walker suddenly appeared behind him and pounced on him. The man pushed the walker away and ran desperately towards the house. The food was delicious, and he had to share it with the girl, and send the walkie-talkies along with it. The two were finally able to communicate happily. They talked for a long time, but happiness is always short-lived. The originally quiet walker suddenly stirred up for some reason. The two were on the ground and didn't dare to make a sound, but the girl still accidentally made a sound. Seeing the zombie step by step, the man hurriedly asked the girl's room number. Then he used his skills to get through to the girl next door. He managed to attract the walkers to him. The two men did not want to sit around any longer. By observation, the girl saw that there were no walkers on the eighth floor above the man. So they decided to go there. After the two got ready, the girl, who had experience in rock climbing, took the lead. Only she jumped to the ground, surrounded by walkers. She hurriedly untied the rope and ran towards her destination. She was nimble and dodged one walker after another, but there were just too many of them. The girl was accidentally hit by a walker on her way to escape. That's when she saw a pistol in front of her. She got up to pick up the pistol, but was jumped by another zombie. At the critical moment, the man arrived just in time to help her. The two ran toward the building, using the glass doors to keep the walkers out, then entered the elevator and headed straight for the 8th floor. They had thought it was safe here, but when the girl turned her head, a large group of walkers suddenly appeared and lunged at the two. The man fought to fend off the hurt while the girl was pulled inside. Then a smoke bomb was thrown over and it was a masked uncle who saved them. But the girl did not trust the man in front of her. The uncle then entertained them with food and water. Although very hungry, but the two did not dare to eat. Until the uncle ate first. They then let down their guard and ate. The uncle also said that there was enough food to last until the rescue team arrived. Hearing a rescue team, the two did not believe. But the uncle heard the radio. There really is a rescue team. The two cried tears of joy, but did not know they were in danger. By the time the girl realized that something was wrong, it was too late. The man collapsed. It turned out that the uncle was not the owner of the house at all, and the food had just been drugged with ecstasy. The girl also collapsed. The uncle tied up the two men. The girl was dragged into a room with a zombie tied up inside, and the other end of the rope was pulled by the uncle. It turned out that the walker was his wife. He loved her very much. Even though his wife had turned into a zombie, the uncle still did not abandon her, and even went so far as to feed her with a living person. Just see him slowly let go of the rope, the zombie lunged towards the girl. At this point the man woke up and he threatened uncle with a gun to open the door to the room. The uncle dropped the rope straight away. The man tried to grab the rope, but failed to do so. A scream came from the room, and then faded out. The uncle alerted and opened the door to see that his wife, who had suddenly turned into a zombie, had pounced on him. The couple could be together forever. The girl fired a shot at them. The sound of the gunshot, however, attracted the walkers in the whole neighborhood. They poured into the building. The two men were completely desperate. They were more willing to kill themselves than to be bitten alive by the walkers. Just as the men were about to shoot, the sound of a helicopter came into their ears. The two looked out the window and there was a rescue team. This was the only chance to be rescued and they had to rush to the roof. The man set off a smoke bomb and the girl pushed the stroller out of the way. The two took the opportunity to run towards the roof and the walkers swarmed the building. The girl is accidentally grabbed by the walkers. 
The man covers the girl with the stroller and the girl takes the opportunity to break free from her restraints. The man told her to go to the roof first and ask for help, but when she got to the roof, she didn't find the helicopter. The man also shakes off the walkers to the roof. The two are once again in a desperate situation. The cry for help resonated throughout the neighborhood. The zombies broke through the last line of defense. The two men were cornered and shot their last two bullets. The zombies were close at hand. The sound of a propeller suddenly rang out behind them and a helicopter appeared. The powerful firepower instantly wiped out a large group of zombies. The two were rescued on the helicopter and escaped from this terrible place. They looked at each other and smiled. Fortunately they persevered, and in all corners of the city, there are many survivors like them, waiting for rescue. As long as you try to stay alive, there will definitely be hope.